Okay. Let's do this. Okay, come on. Wait, did it start? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Let's say hi, Sheridan. Hi, Sheridan. Hola. 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 We're going to talk to you about <laughs> composting. Composting! Which some of you already know what that is because you know this orange bucket that I would bring on Wednesdays to lunch at Sheridan. Jory to lunch at Sheridan. Sheridan. All right. Let's do this. So, when when we would have lunch at Sheridan and I would ask you to put your extra fruit peels and your extra veggies that you weren't going yeah, to eat in. into there, um, but not put in any meat, meat. or milk or milk. cheese. Cheese. Um, this is what we did with cheese, it when cheese, we brought it cheese, home. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cut. To make compost, you need to have a brown material which could be paper or dry leaves or dry grass and that needs to be mixed with the fruit and veggies. In there you can see that we have a carrot and some lettuce. If we dug down in there we would also see other things from everybody's lunches from this whole year. Oh I see a little piece of broccoli down there. A carrot, <laughs> some lettuce. Oh a piece of celery is in there. Oh that's molten broccoli. That's all stuff that you Sheridan students helped gather during lunches um, over the course of this school year. This isn't just any garbage can either. I adapted it to make it so that it is more useful for composting. I put some holes down at the bottom. You can see one of the holes right here. Oh, my mint's getting in the way. Hole, hole. So that some of the juice from the fruits and vegetables has a place to escape and so that it also gets some oxygen in there because the fruits and veggies and leaves are not going to form soil unless if they have some oxygen. Okay, so in order to make that turn more into soil, you have to turn the compost, which Jory is going to demonstrate. One of the ways you can turn compost is by just using a shovel and mixing it around. And we'll look closely at some of the compost that Jory is turning here. We can can we identify any of the things that in there? Eggshells. Those are from our home use. You guys don't put eggshells in from school, but I see some tomato skins in there, those little orangey yellow things. I see oh <clears throat> I see an avocado peel right here. Not much of what you guys put in here from school is really recognizable anymore. It's hard to tell what all the fruits and vegetables actually were because it is really turning into soil. Okay, the final step um, in creating the compost is that we need to put it into the ground so that it will continue to turn into soil. That happens by the worms that eat it so the worms turn it into soil, and also teeny tiny bacteria that are so small we can't even see it. They also eat the fruit and vegetable scraps and turn them into uh, the final product, which is compost soil. So this is soil that, or compost that I put in the ground last year before winter came in 2019. And we're going to dig around and see if there's anything in there that we can still tell what it is. Go ahead, Edley. You see some tomato peels? Yeah, those are some of the things that are the last to break down. I'm going to pick one of those up and hold it up to the camera. You can tell that's a tomato skin from like a cherry tomato. Worm, Anything else you guys? Worm. Oh, here's a worm doing its job composting. Let's see it on the camera door. There it is. I'm going to let it back in, like that. so you can keep doing work. Yeah, so most of the fruits and veggies just turned into soil already. Usually we see some peach pits or something in here, but I haven't actually seen any. That is a big worm. Oh, is that another worm? Yeah, that's another worm. Yeah. Or is that just the oh, I found something that I can recognize. It's an ender spit. This is just spitting. This is just. It's an avocado pit. Oh, 
Is that that might be part of the worm that got hit by the shovel? I think I see a pistachio shell too. Ew, disgusting. You might think. <laughs> yeah, but magically. This is how you get carrots. Well, through science, oh. all of that fruit and vegetable waste got turned into compost. So instead of going to a dump or a landfill and sitting in the landfill for hundreds of years, it now is useful oh. soil that we use for gardening. Another worm. <laughs> what do we got there? Another really fat worm. <laughs> One of them was from before. So that's basically how composting works. If you are interested in doing more composting, here are some of the things that you can do. Um, when we do have school again and we're eating lunch in the cafeteria, you can continue putting your fruit and vegetable scraps into the compost bucket when it's there. Um, if you think that we should have the compost bucket more than one day a week, maybe you can ask the school leaders or even the district leaders um, if we could have a, a compost program that happens more than one day a week. Uh, maybe they could even join up with some of the other schools, like South High School that has a big vegetable garden or North High School that does. Maybe they could take our vegetables and turn them into soil for their gardens. Um, you could even ask the leaders of the city if they could have a composting program for the entire city of Sheboygan. So instead of throwing banana peels and orange peels and any leftover vegetables and fruits into the trash, instead of making that go to the landfill, they could collect them and turn them into compost. And that compost could then be soil that they could sell um, or use for gardens. So those are all things that you can do to help there be less waste in the landfills. And I hope you learned something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, the end. <laughs>